thick. I think we are live here. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful... Today is what? Today is April 5th. It's already April 5th, guys. It's been, this month has been gone by so fast here lately. It's been a very exciting time. If you are into coffee grinder, this is a very exciting time for you. Because not only we have timer grinders on Kickstarter, we have a Zonos coming up really strong. And now just newly released, newly pre-order the Niche Duo 83mm. And uh, unfortunately, I was planning on having Jake on. The Jake is the one reviewing for past five months, okay? And uh, some reason we couldn't get connect properly on the YouTube live. We ended up doing on, uh, we ended up doing on Instagram live instead. So if you guys are curious about it, uh, check out my Instagram page there. Uh, if not, uh, I'm gonna have him on again uh, down the road. So it should be should be interesting. So he answered pretty much most of my questions because I was curious about the the power of the motor. Okay, so that's not an issue because I saw one of uh, you know his video. He was actually grind green beans. Okay, green beans are really really hard. No problem with that. And uh, what else? I mean, just like we talk about, they are short. Uh, they are a little taller and a little wider. That's it. And if you are used to niche zero, the pretty much is exactly the same workflow. All right, okay, exactly the same workflow. So, so that's not an issue there as well. And then obviously, uh, you know, uh, niche is not telling us much, okay? Very limited information on the aftermarket uh, burst, like SSPs. Can I put that in there? Okay, can I put SSP and it's gonna perform well? Uh, Niche, you know, they want you to use their birth sets, but, you know, I don't know the exact answer on that one. So that's the one mystery for now. Okay, one mystery for now. So, but I know a lot of people are getting it. So we're going to find out soon enough. Okay. But meantime, meantime, let's go back to the past. Okay, Kickstarter and Indiegogo project. So I picked out three. Okay, I picked out three. Uh, Kopi Diva. We have a key grinder from Weber, and also we have a Arco two in one from Goat Story. Okay, so let's so copy the back here. Let me show you. I got the screen pulled up here. Uh, it's a uh, copy the is a Brandon's uh, Wong's project. So far, about three hundred three backers there. Three hundred three, about two hundred thirty thousand. He did a Indiegogo and a Kickstarter as well. Okay. So he did quite a few, around 144, just under 500 units sold, Coffee Diva. The next one is the key grinder. Goodness, look at the key grinder, guys. 3.4 mil. I mean, that did really well, okay? And the Arc, uh, Arco 2 in 1, that did really well too, guys. You got 3,800 backers plus uh, from Kickstar, another... Uh, 1,200 backers as well, so quite a bit. Actually, more than that. That sold thousands. Okay, that sold thousands there. That sold thousands and thousands. So the reason why I start, uh, I made uh, this video because unfortunately I have none of those grinder. Okay, here, uh, here at uh, my coffee desk. So I'm calling out. People have coffee diva. And key grinder and arco. Uh, let me know in the comment section, okay? How do you like it so far? Okay, how do you like it so far? And uh, you know what? It's kind of like you already bought it, okay? So which means I I hope you feel good about the I hope you feel good about purchasing purchasing that grinder. So, but if for someone out there, be honest about it. Yeah, let me know, okay? Are you feel good about backing this project, okay? Are you feel good about backing this? The reason why I bring it up, because you know, I have not heard about Kofi Diva in a while. Okay, it's been very quiet, okay, but very quiet for the last couple of months. And also Key Grinder has been very quiet too. And the uh, Goat Story Arco, pretty quiet as well. Because you know, whenever, you know, I'm on social media quite a bit. And the, you, you hear a buzz from other people. Okay, you hear from a uh, buzz from other people. It's been very quiet. That's why I'm making this video this afternoon. So 
I know some of you are watching right now. Okay, hopefully tonight, right now, or later today or tomorrow. If you have any of this grinder, yeah, let me know. Okay, let me know in the comment section. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Okay, because Kofi Diva is also another 64 millimeter flapper grinder. They're rechargeable. The Brandon made this rechargeable coffee grinder. Technically, you could take, you know, kind of like camping trip as well if you wanted to. Okay, you could take that grinder to camping trip. And, you know, as long as you drive somewhere, I think you're going to be just fine. So, very portable, okay? And uh, the price is right at the time. It's not that expensive grinder. Coffee deal is about what, you know, under you know, around $600 grinder there. So, it's very inexpensive okay and the, the other hand the key grinder from Weber that's two thousand dollars okay that grinder is not cheap and if you start adding some taxes on it so two grand so that is 83 millimeter conical they're using the mother boards there so that's pretty large uh, conical boards uh, I did use the HG1 prime in past I really enjoy the cup quality from it so yeah again uh, if you have a key grinder, have it. Uh, let me know in the comment section as well. And also, the Arco, the Goat Story. Man, they did really well. Okay, comes to uh, number of units sold. Okay, so I know some of you have one. If you do, yeah, again, let me know in the comment section. I'd uh, love to hear your thoughts on that. The meantime, I'm going to shout out to Richard. Richard is only one. At the live chat right now, okay, Richard is the only person at the live chat. If you're just joining us for the first time, yeah, welcome to live streaming, folks. Uh, that's what we do every single day. We kind of like hanging out, make some coffee, you know, talk coffee. And also we are doing a simulcast with a Discord as well, Discord members. So uh, Discord is pretty fun too. And we just hang out. Hold on a second here. Yeah, we have a... Uh, uh, Richard is asking about the Franzato Pitra. Uh, is that Pitra? I think that, yeah, Pitra grinder is a 58 millimeter. Okay. I think uh, Josh from uh, Alternate Brewing uh, just, uh, just did a review on that uh, recently. Okay. And then, so, uh, uh, the 58 millimeter flat burr. Uh, they have two sets of burrs there uh, one for espresso friendly, the other one for. Uh, the, let's say the other one for filter the brewers, uh, but the the brewers is designed by Lance. Okay, so Lance wasn't really involved. Okay, hold on. We have a simply PSI. Okay, we have a excellent. I have a Kofi Diva. It is great grinder. Okay, its weight makes it impractical to make travel, but being coalesced doesn't mean yeah you do not restrict yeah what you know I bet you okay simply. PSI, I bet you can take anywhere, you know, I mean, as long as you can drive, I don't know about you, but I usually take my uh, uh, Bravo Brista Express to my vacations, okay, uh, if I stay more than two nights, two is my minimum night, if any place stay uh, more than two nights and driving, I bring my coffee machine, so yeah, as long as they're portable, yeah, I I'm taking it. Okay, we have a Richards on the live chat as well. So, so far, you got one person, have one. Very happy with the Coffee Diva. That's good. Good to know. And uh, I mean, I'd love to hear more about Key, okay? Because I do enjoy a large burr, okay? A large burr uh, uh, conical grinder. So, yeah. Uh, if you have it, yeah, let me, let me know as well, okay? Let me know because, again, the current grinder market is so saturated and very competitive all right and then i feel like the niche kind of like missed the boat okay if you ask me because a niche has opportunity to bring it up even sooner because right now we've got so many flappers coming out i'm glad they went for the 83 though not 64 the, uh no yeah 80 uh 83 because the 64 is pretty much, I think it's done. Okay, I think it's done. That doesn't mean some companies coming up with another grinder, but man, 64 millimeter grinders are so, so many of them out there. So I'm glad Nishi is doing the 83 market. So 
it makes sense. If you have, if you have the conical, niche zero, and then now you have flat bird. So if you are in the niche, if you are a niche fan, I think you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be happy with uh, the new duo, okay? New duo. But here's a, I mean, we had a, this conversation uh, even this morning on the Discord chat. The niche have, comes with a two bird sets, one for espresso and one for filter. How realistically you are going to swap out, you know, every couple of days, even, you know, I don't know how realistic, you know what I mean? So, but uh, you have options. Okay, you have options. That's what I like about the niche there. You have an option to go for the brew if you wanted to, even though you're not going to use it, but you have options. The Richard asked me, where do you think the bird size will start for the home grinders? You know what? Guess what? If someone comes up with 120 millimeter, someone's going to buy it. Okay. I think the, there's no end to the top. Okay. All right. I mean, people will buy it because trust me, you know, they have no problem spending, you know, 10 grand on coffee grinder out there. So yeah. So let's see here. We have a ragu. As best cheap grinder for home. Uh, you could spend 10 bucks on coffee grinder. So uh, go to Amazon, okay? And just uh, search for the price. Uh, you're gonna get a pretty cheap grinder there. Okay, you can get a really cheap grinder. Let's see here. The Richard said, uh, yep. It's over 400 pound. Okay, uh, again, so obviously the larger the bird, it's gonna cost more to replace it. Uh, even like a 98 millimeter SSP, just simple, the Marconi bird, stock birds, you are looking about 300 bucks. So if you go to SSP, four to five hundred dollars there. So again, the largest bird, I mean, you, you need to willing to play, okay? Just make sure, because you're not gonna go buy 98 millimeter for fun. So, and if you are talking about the you know, price of the bird, I mean, you are in, uh, yeah, you shouldn't buy, you know, your grinder because just like you're going to fancy restaurant, if you went to a restaurant that has no price on the menu, okay, if you're asking for price, you're in the wrong place, folks. Okay, you're in the wrong place. Okay, Richard has comment here. They should offer the niche duo with the one bird set. Your choice and second choice if you want to change. Uh, I don't know about that, you know, because. I mean, that's great for us, but not great for the company, okay? The, yeah, it's great for the us, but not great for the company, Richard. Because, you know, they want to just give you two sets, hey, here, go have some fun with it, yeah. I mean, that's, I, I like that idea, though, okay? I think, yeah, I think that's a great idea, but... Uh, there, uh, the duo, the ma uh, niche duo using the mother bird sets, I think it's called 151, the, the B for the espresso and F for the... Uh, filter so all right hold on a second we got blue rays on as well yeah blue say blue ray say 98 is fun the more is merrier yes the fact is blue ray already got a 98 millimeter okay blue ray happened to have the ek 43 and eg1 all right so yeah i bet you if someone come up with that at 120 yeah they're gonna buy it okay for sure uh, Franzetta Pitro. Yeah, the hand grinder is about 400 pound. I think it's less than that. I, I saw at the, I think, yeah. Think about it, $400 per hand grinder. Okay, that's a lot of money, all right? Because you can get a DF64 for around 350, folks. The 64 millimeter flat bar, so. Okay, hold on a second. The Simply Pi, uh, PSI, Psi, I think? I don't know. I think we can get uh, too hung up on bird size. I think geometry of the bird is more important. You sure? Absolutely. The geometry is, uh, that's everything. Comes to the design of the birds. If you have the, uh, even the same size with a different geometry, it's going to be change the complexity of your coffee. So yeah. And, you know, the motor is obviously important as well for the consistency. 
I mean, that is all true. I mean, that's why, I mean, this company spent, you know, thousands of hours, okay? Thousands of hours coming up with their own bird designs, okay? So, I mean, like, uh, who, uh, let's see here, who else? I think uh, EG1 has their own design, okay? Even my uh, Capitec MC5, Shuriken Birds has their own design. So, I mean, these people spend a lot of time to perfect it, okay? There are birds. And it's hard to copy too. Uh, because uh, MC5 is 71 millimeter conical. It's kind of hard to copy, which means that whoever make it, you know, whoever wants to copy that machine, uh, copy that grinder, you gotta build a copy grinder. Fit in, yeah, so it's not a, but with a 64, that's pretty easy. Yeah, that's pretty easy to kind of like inspired by other grinders there for sure. Okay, uh, Jay is just uh, checking in right now. Hey, Jay, are you still doing the your weekend tasting menu? The tasting session? I think, I think I'm pretty sure he does. Uh, if you are in North Carolina area, make sure, uh, you know, check out Brew by Jay. He offer free coffee tasting. Yep, every week. So, uh, so he offers at his home offers free uh, coffee tasting, okay? So you get, uh, you get to have some the finest coffee in the world, all right? Hold on, he said he's booked out for the next, next two weeks. Okay, so if anybody wants to book after that, make sure you hit him up. I think uh, he's at the, you can uh, check him out on Instagram, okay? Blue by Dre. All right, so anyway, if you're just joining us, if any of you out there have, uh, if you are watching it after the fact, uh, let me know, okay? Let me know how happy with your Coffee Diva, Goat Story, and your Weber Key, okay? Love to hear from you. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon.